Alright, peace, love, and blessings. We back. Yes, I shop at Dollar Tree. Always beautiful. That's the BS, especially today. Shit. Always well that I know of. Inspire to be and become and, and <clears throat> excuse me redefine go higher than the day before well, I should hope so and with that I'm just showing some angel numbers as usual if you people they for you yeah so and decided he on one of these streets on the corner. There'd be a lot going on. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah. See this? It's breathtaking for me. It, it takes me back to the Bronx. Like literally this strip right here look like Morrison. Across the street from the playground. That one, this right here, the little strip. Buildings. <clears throat> and my PTSD kicks in. But those are, I have found memories there. I mean, aside from <laughs> God bless the dead. Now I ain't gonna mention his name. He's not here. But fam shooting his fam off the bike. Bike twirls. Instead of a person, it's like my life experience is a lot different from women that look like um, that share same qualities as me. So that's why I be quiet on these videos. People want to hear stories. I don't know. You keep those angel numbers going by. Dope. So. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I don't know, sometimes I feel like I'm going off the deep end, but it's my story, it's real. So yeah, I did see that, that happened. And then he went to the funeral and it was like, oh, okay, you for real. I was like, you know, he give the wink, like, you better shut the fuck up if you know anything you know sis and, and whoever else he did that too you know he was wild you know and then um, up the block so that was on that was between Watson and Westchester on Morrison if you was there you know what I'm talking about Hell, Bestie was, I think, clo even closer than I was. I was up the block by where the electronics store used to be at. Well, closer up because I was able to see the whole shit. I, we was driving past, and I was able to see, you know, more than enough. But at that, right at that second, the girls, it would be the, the Dominican crew, the girls, shout out to y'all, be standing there. Right, you know, closer to the playground, up the block, closer to uh, Watson at that time, because you know, it'd be hey, thank you. Now, yeah, could I have a conversation with her? But, um, yeah, I'm reliving some shit, some movie shit. That's how I'd be like, yo, when I get ready, it's gonna be a lot going on you know but um what else was an interesting detail of that story yeah 
I've also been in this building for um, District 19 meetings or a meeting there, maybe two. So, yeah, I do ooh, try to help or what the hell? All right, so, so you know where we at. <laughs> Um, and now you know why I could walk anywhere <laughs> without feeling um, crazy or what have you. It's like, all right, I see you, I see you, I understand you. You know what I mean? So, and I know how to move and stuff. But, um, and then Bestie that actually, that I was saying was right even closer they had, you know, God bless and respect to her and, and her family. But I'll just mention that her dad, one day will, will one day I'll, you know, it is part of my story. So he was taken out in front of us as well. Steps away, footsteps away. That's the 80s for you. And then the, the first story was in the night, it was, in 90, when homeboy, God bless the day, he's not here with us anymore. Um, I always thought that movie Empire, like from Base in the Bronx with Fat Joe in there, I always thought they took some of their, I don't know, some stuff from the fellas up in Morrison. I don't know. I gotta watch it again. Uh, I was younger when I came out. But, um, and now I'm all over the place. All right, so that happened in the 90s. That happened in 90, probably 94, right? Summer 93 was crazy. 94, yeah, it went crazy. That's when it got out of control. Family, it was like, no, the family was beefing. That's never good. And, um, I don't know. Things were just going crazy. Like, God bless the dead Mike. It was just always somebody. And the next body and the next one. And it was just a lot. A lot, a lot. And, I don't know. It's sad. That's why I see any... Any guy that I've met by barking at you for being the beefing in the streets or at my bars, you know, when I bartend and stuff in my life, or had um, in this, like events for talent, that's this is why. It's a lot of things I didn't say before. But that's not just something you come out and be talking about. But you live, you learn. And you gotta do better. You gotta share the word. Word. Today is what? Wisdom cipher. So, no, I'm saying that backwards, but. Where? The first video we had a lot of God in it. <clears throat> All random, but not random, because these things need to be spoken about. It makes me uncomfortable because sometimes I'd be like, damn vulnerable all right being vulnerable for a moment when i do that is usually to show you some angel numbers but um all right so now this is me being vulnerable for real so it's not that i'm fake at all it's that i don't know no one like me so there's a lot of things I don't, I just rather be quiet because 
Same way if we was right here, you was with, we was in a, a circle, people here. I'm gonna be quiet because I'm socially awkward. My jokes tend to be dark. If I joke, you know, if if I have time to joke, I have to case in the place <laughs> and see who's around me and what's what and what's, you know, when and what's the situation. So, I, it's just, it's just I'm built different, unfortunately, unfortunately, because I need I needed all that a long time so I could deliver the gift that God you know the, the main gift God gave me which is being psych, a psychic medium <clears throat> excuse me so I, I believe that's the power behind delivering the messages I do today is keeping it myself keeping quiet um Though it's not healthy, holding things in and making sense of it myself. talk about situations that's kind of dark, well, really dark. Um, and then turn around and speak on something else. And that's not always normal to, any, to most people, you know. So, because this is my online journey, I'd be like, damn, am I going to turn the wrong people off? Because I'm a genuinely good person. None of that shit took my heart. None of that made me turn my heart cold. I, my heart's still hot and <laughs> warm and hot and good. I still am the little girl at my core. Actually, I should have to get her back. I wasn't that. I wasn't there. But I'm there now, for sure. And even at my darkest moments and my shadow days, um, I always still have reason and heart, you know. And I actually care about things. They could be on TV. I don't like people getting hurt. Like I never experienced any this. So, I'm not that person that, because I've seen all this, experienced that, lived through this, lived with this, that now I'm like um, a monster. And you know, all of that shit could have turned me into a monster. I'm aware of that. And because of that is why I hold back. So I hope this helps anyone that feel like, oh, why she didn't never mention, or now she, you know, or know my stuff. Cause people see me and, you know, people talk and, you know, I am, I have met and uh, been blessed to be around for, you know, of all kind of, all kind of, you know, people. And usually, usually the story is, you know, the hardships, the bad things, the, the, the me in the, in the, <laughs> in the daylight blazing in the middle of wherever it was, you know, loose cannon without the, backstory without the after story you know how much I changed how much I gave back how much I would never and 
and in any and all community I um, take part in, like say I'm in this community for a long time, if there's something I can do, whatever, whatever I can do to pitch in, help out, whether it's at a church, um, a school function, I'm going to do that. Wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly without being asked. Let me get wind of it. I'm, I'm there. Because I'm just a, a victim of circumstance. You know, I had to make way. And you can't be a beautiful female in the streets rocking stilettos and, you know, the latest and dresses and spring dresses every day. I love, I'm a feminine female regardless of anything even back everybody who knows me knows that. always i wore makeup when it wasn't cute to do in the hood when the girls were wearing their pants sagging i did it too but i did it with makeup on i did it like i was part of tlc <laughs> you know so and, and i was one of the first to stop doing that shit early and um you can't just walk around. It's a sad truth, sad reality that's really not spoken of. But when people say protect black women, this is why. I'm also this complexion. Some people call me light skin. Others call me brown. And in Spanish, in Latino based communities, say I'm dark skin all of which is still black my daddy's black my hair is black not the color but it's black and um, I wasn't protected and you, you can't you're not gonna be protected so you gotta either not be in certain environments or know how to handle yours in certain environments. It's crazy out here. I'm not talking about just here, East New York. I'm saying in the hood, period, anywhere. You know, so if you don't have a story, you getting fucked. Literally, <laughs> I might have to cut this out, but um, you know, it figuratively and and not so. Period. So, when you see any old pictures, anything of me and a thousand people, and I'm one or two of the only females, no, I'm respected because of how I always carry, you know, period. <laughs> So, and um, it's not funny, it's sad. And sometimes you gotta play chess, you know. All right, well, this guy, he all right. And this is the realest shit right now I'm saying, but, you know, too much being around the homies sometimes. Should get different, and if you have a, a reason, like say y'all have a reason that like you can't just stop doing it. You can, but you're gonna lose. It's gonna cost you in a way. You know, whatever way that is. Um, you better get with one of them. <laughs> Otherwise. You don't have to get with, you ain't got to get with one of them, but you don't want to be beefing because that's what's going to come. I've been that road too. If I don't like, at the end of the day, if I don't like nobody, I don't like nobody in that way. And that's how God bless the dead. D-Lo, we got into a fist fight. Ain't nobody going to stick up for me if I'm not giving them no what they really want because guys you 
you know, it's a different world. That's why, look, let me expose. I can't talk. <laughs> Some women going to be mad at me. Some girls, not women. Some girls gonna be mad at me. I see through all the bullshit that goes on. There's no way I'm planet Earth. You can move a certain way without moving a certain way. That's why people say, oh, they have memes with girls doing the most. When they think of girls that hang with guys, because that usually be the case. And if that's not the case, something, you know, God forbid, God forbid, God bless the dead, I have one. Man, I'm not even gonna go there. So, you gotta supply, you can't come around a bunch of wolves with steak the steak, you know, is good on its own, like, good. Without supplying something. And you can, but you'll be, and I mentioned one person, but I used to fist fight guys all the time. And that's not cute, it's not funny, it's not fun. Aww. It's just not it. That make your body, you know, more tone. I don't look if I could be little skinny and frail, I would be. And I like to eat. That's just me being real. Too. I'm not taking that out. I, just, <laughs> I know that you're probably like, what? Basically, what you're saying, you effort for security. Um, I have, but it's not just that. With me, it's not just that. I gotta like the person regardless. We gotta have a plan regardless. And these are the, these are survival days. Days I'm I'm in the mix like that. Now, if you see me in the hood, I'm coming through because I actually do miss people where, you know, I want to chill, maybe have a sip. I don't sip like that. I don't drink like that. When I do, I sip anyway. What happened over there? My kids probably be there. It's family now. It's different, you know. Or well, not now. They've been... You know, I have hooked people up. And even when I haven't, everybody knows each other. So we all like them now. The older, whole different scenario. Um, as far as for me, God willing, I don't see myself ever going back into doing anything illegal in the streets. Uh, it ain't worth it. Uh, I have two young baby girls. I don't be, half the time I don't want to go places is just in case, because sometimes, you know, you with a lot of people, somebody gets into it. Are you in a fist fight? That's a problem.
and bad too much going on. Once again, that's what I do though. When I do talk, it be a lot. Translation, I told him to leave. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, we different, different though. I would like, I'll probably go. No, I can't even do that. I was just last night, I'm in the shower. I'm like, I'm taking them to the Bronx this week. Where I used to be at. First of all, my people, everybody's not with the cameras. So we got that. Um, then, it's like, you know, all these years. And I kept it that way because, you know, I would go back and forth. And you know, you shouldn't really show everything, you know. Whatever, so yeah. I don't know. I know at the end of the day, my people, good people, they're not gonna tell me no, but I don't wanna do it and then. I feel like, oh no, <laughs> scratch all that. Time is, is not fun to be wasted. It won't be wasted because I love to see my people. Um, I just don't know. All right. Peace, love, and blessings.